News 5 at 6.30. And thanks for staying with us for our second half hour of News 5 at 6. I'm Rob Quirk. Diane is on assignment. Only on News 5 tonight, a new Pew Research study shows that fewer people across the United States consider themselves religious. And those who identify as Christian here in Colorado Springs, well, they are aware of what's happening and some of the reasons why. Our Natalie Chuck sat down with two people, both raised in religious families, who are now living very different lives on different sides of this religious divide. Nestled between the trees in Black Forest. I felt like I was home. Sister Mary Colleen Schwartz spends her days here. When one is reciting something, the other one is listening. At Bennett Hill Monastery, devoted to her religion. I'm a convert uh, to the Catholic faith, and I did that in the 60s when everybody was leaving the church. <laughs> Even after growing up in a Missouri Synod Lutheran family, religious life didn't always come easy to Sister Schwartz. I doubted everything about it, and even if there was a God. When you leave home, you have your family set of values, and it was like, it didn't resonate with me. But it was her life experience as a critical care nurse that led her to Catholicism after meeting a nun at her hospital never knowing she would become one too. Meanwhile, on the southeast side of Colorado Springs is Damian Mooneyham. Just the idea of some all-powerful being never really, never really sat with me very well. He had a similar experience to Sister Schwartz, growing up Southern Baptist in Virginia, and realizing religion didn't resonate with him. I wouldn't say it was like, just because I went to college or just because I moved out of state. I think it was maybe a combination, a combination of, uh, of those things. Research shows these stories are becoming more and more common. That Pew Research study found that of those surveyed, more people under the age of 30 who considered themselves Christian now identify as non-religious. And if that trend continues, it's estimated that by 2070, those who identify as Christian could make up less than half the U.S. population. I don't think I would have thought of that. I mean, 2070 is a long time away. So. It's hard to ask questions within the institution. And Sister Schwartz sees this declining interest in religion firsthand. In fact, when she decided to become a nun in 2001, she was the first sister to join Bennett Hill in 25 years. You are a generation that is beginning to feel a little invisible and less understood. And that's because we're not listening. And we need to listen. In Mooneyham's eyes, religion boils down to the need for a community. People definitely want to be around people who think the same. I mean, whether it's religious group, non-religious group, political party, whatever. But for Sister Schwartz, she believes her community will continue to dwindle unless religious entities learn to adapt. I think the divine is up to something new. And if we're not willing to change something that's not working, we need to die, right? Reporting in Colorado Springs, Natalie Chuck, News 5.